What's up guys, this is Austin Pro today. I'm gonna show you guys five new features in iOS 13.1 beta one that I found today. iOS 13.0 beta eight will be on the left, 13.1 on the right. The first one is when you go to the app store, click on Apple Arcade. This one's only noticeable if you have dark, if you have dark mode on, but when you scroll down on 13 beta eight, you notice that there's these, each card description is separated by the black borders with dark mode on. But now Apple has removed it, which is a nice addition. So it's like one long list now, so you don't have to wonder which each one of the battle, like you think it's something different. So now now it shows that it's all related to one one thing now instead of multiple, which is Apple Arcade only, which is really cool. Let me turn my dark mode off. This next one is when you go to the Apple Watch app, when you go down to the App Store, you know that, that the description has changed a little bit. You see, they removed the watch a 6.0 or later part of the description and now it only says browse search and buy apps from the app store right on your wrist so the description has changed they did the very same apple did the same thing back in the earlier version of iOS 13 where they did the same thing to change the description but now iOS 13.1 removes it again which is interesting this next one is when you go to settings go down to measure you'll notice that there are new settings for location and theory for the measure app which is really cool this next one is when you're connected to an Apple TV, for an example, if you if you look at the volume indicator, you notice that there's a new icon for Apple TV, which now it'll tell you which source you're playing from. It's just that's having the volume indicator. And now it tells you which device to connect to, like Apple TV, Beats Pro, or HomePod or anything like that. Or if you're on a phone call, it will show the phone icon or FaceTime icon, which is really cool. Just a better way of telling you which the Bluetooth device you're playing from. This net, and this last one is on the iPod Touch, for example, if you are if you click the volume up rocker, there's a really weird sound. Listen to this. You see it's like a, like a, like a two second chirp. I'll do it again. See, it only happens when you click the volume rocker up once. When, see when this, when the indicator comes down, it's the only time I did the chirp. So I'll do it again. You see it only does it when I, when I tap it once. You see when I, after it comes down and you try to change the volume, it does not happen. This will only happen when the volume indi indicator comes down for the first time, like this. You see it came down once, but when I change it, it doesn't do it again. But it only happens when it comes back down. I'll do it again. So that sound is kind of interesting, like, like a little chirp. The iPads and iPhones don't do that. It's only in the iPod Touch, which is really interesting why Apple would do that just for the iPods. Like they gave it a few more sounds than the iPhone has. Which is really interesting. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did a video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace.